of a slative poultry farm, Gigori. I started farming in the year 2021, around uh, August, uh, during Corona, when schools were closed and everybody was at home. So I decided to look for something that can keep me busy during that time. So I saw it that I tried uh, to check on a business that I can venture into. Tried doing some little consultation here and there. Got some insights and realized that uh, I can venture into poultry farming. So because uh, this is an urban area and the space might be small, so I decided to look for a room that was within the compound. And uh, with the knowledge I had, I decided to form something like a brooder and start doing a brooding. Brooding is the process of rearing birds from day old to 28 days. Then uh, you sell because that was the was my value chain during that time. Oh, okay. This one was a was a kitchen. Yeah, uh, when uh, you know in in a, in a home like this, when you have visitors, you need a kitchen. So my mom used to use this uh, room for uh, cooking for the visitors and even rearing their Kenyaji birds. Yeah. But when I saw it, an opportunity, I decided to ask if she can allow me to use this room. Though it was not easy, but at last we agreed. And she decided to allow me to do some little renovation and started using this room. Okay, in this room, first what I did, there was no ventilation. There was only one window, the one that you can see there. So I had to open up some spaces here, then make some uh, ventilation around. Then use a triplane, uh, the so-called tandarua, to cover the wind and the cold during the night. There was a socket, like uh, like uh, a socket for only one bulb. I decided to to bring a fundi here to do some little wiring. The way you can see the wires have been uh, done inside here. Then we also have this solar. Yeah, then bought few plywoods, the way you can see. Like when you want to construct a brooder, you only need a plywood. For 100 birds, you need only one plywood. You cut it and then you form something like a cycle. But because I usually do 500 to 600 birds at a go, I had to use more than three plywoods to make this cycle here. Then uh, we, we know this is the, the wood shavings, this one here. I had to look for them from, uh, from the nini from the fundis there, then came and received them using this, uh, this sieve there, there's a sieve I used to sieve them so that to remove the smaller particles to remain with the bigger particles. Yeah, and that is how I just started, bought feeders and drinkers and bought birds and I started brooding. Okay, where we get the birds, we have reputable sources of uh, companies that do hatching. We have Kenchik, we have Kukuchik. But nowadays, you also have people who are doing this on their homes. People who have got some knowledge and now they are doing it. For me, I get my birds from a friend in Kisumu who has a, who know how to identify the birds. In breeding has been taken care of. So I buy my birds from the person at uh, 85 shillings per bird. So if you, have, if you need 100, you buy around, uh, you use around 8,500. So when the birds arrive, what you need to do first, you do the counting to confirm, because uh, from Kisumu to Migori is like a, it's around like three to four hours. Eh? So you check if there is there there, are, there, are, there is uh, birds that have died, some that are very tired. You separate them. Once you've separated them, you give them glucose, water, amylite, and liquid paraffin. The one you can see, like this one, now we are not giving them that. But you give them glucose, amylite, and, paraffin, and liquid paraffin. The reason why we do that is because we find that some birds are coming, they are already tired. And now, for them to get, regain that back energy, they need some uh, multivitamin. So once they have arrived, we give them that for around one, one hour to two hours. Then you introduce the feeds. Once you have introduced the feeds, you, when you introduce the feed, you use the, these chick trays. Yeah, when you have introduced the feed, you use the chick trays. You give them the feeds again for another two hours. After you have done that, 
you come and uh, pick one, check the crop to check if there is seed inside it. You'll, like this one here, you will feel like there is a there is a feed inside it and uh, it's already full. So you will find that there are some birds that are, are not eating. So you try and give them food and water. Yeah, so during that time, the room should be warm. The room should be warm. I usually use these infrared bulbs and those bulbs because this area is very cold. I use a jiko. There is a jiko, we call a brooding jiko that I use uh, also here. So during the first days, uh, always the, the ventilation should be down. It should not be up. But at, I usually leave that window and I open the, the front ventilation a little bit uh, lower, but I have to allow in air and, this, and air, the air can pass through. Yeah. So, uh, I usually prefer Bidco because uh, the Bidco has been giving me the good results. Uh, when it comes to vaccination, I have a vet who helps me. We do usually do MCD on the sixth day, the New Newcastle on the sixth day. That is a eye, eye drop. Then on the fourteenth day we do Gumboro. Then on the twenty eighth day we repeat the Newcastle now via drinking water. Yeah. What you do once you bought the chicks, you will give them feeds. So you will calculate the amount of feeds that these birds have eaten. So and you make sure at least out of each bird you get a little, a little bit a profit of 40 bob to 50 bob per bird at the end of one week. Same to the second week, the third week, and the fourth week. Yeah, so you find like if you sell if you sell them at one week, the profit margin should be around. Uh, 16,000 to 20,000 for uh, for the 500 birds that I do but for 100 birds it will be around 5,000 for a week so if you calculate all this for a month roughly 56,000 yeah when 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 the market is good yeah okay the marketing part of it is not easy because uh, you have to use money to get money so what I do I post them on Facebook sponsor some ads on Facebook I have uh, friends on my WhatsApp. I post in my WhatsApp status. I get referrals. I also have uh, an aunt at the agricultural office. At sometimes she usually give me some farmers. I train them then uh, to buy birds from me. Yeah, this is the new structure that I say I want to use for expansion. So because when when the birds have, have overgrown that place, I'll be transferring them here. So this other place is where we'll be keeping my feeds, the store. We'll be preserving my feeds, the medication, because not good to put them where the birds are. So you have to separate them. That's why I have the two doors here. And then uh, the next door here, here is now the, the main uh, poultry house. This one is the food bath, where you, I will be dipping my legs before I enter into this this room. So this is the space where the birds will be, as from week five. Yeah, between week four to week five, they will be here. I will pour some hood shavings down here and uh, hang feeders around. So the patches are for the birds to to do to to relax. You know, the birds don't like sleeping down. They they like sleeping on a higher place because they feel there is where the the predators and uh, the enemies cannot reach. That is when I've done those uh, those patches you can see there. For so the triplane, uh, I pre I prefer triplane because uh, the nini, the polythene bag it sweats at night. So because of the cold, so I prefer triplane. It 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 can uh, conserve some heat. Okay, if you can see this room, it's a little bit uh, larger than the other one. So for one month to two months, around. 300 to 400 can can fit here the, 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 but uh, up there at least you can you can uh, the most you can use is 700 but at least preferable is 500 to 600